Psych2Go is a digital media organization that raises mental health awareness by presenting psychological topics in a digestible and relatable manner. Please share our content with those who need it. It's a great way to show your support to us as well. Not everything in this world is black and white. When asked if you're more introverted or more extroverted in nature, it seems like a simple thing to answer, but this is far from the truth. Like most things, the debate over introversion versus extroversion lies on a spectrum. The lines constantly blur, and they're ever-changing. Here are 10 signs you're an introverted extrovert. 1. You're selectively social. You want to be around people, but you don't know how to go about it without being awkward. 2. Where's the invite? You want to be invited to hang out with friends, but have the option to stay home. You don't like not being invited to stuff and being left out of the loop when the friends are sharing stories the next day. It's highly disrespectful and frustrating. 3. Feeling left out. You may not like to socialize all the time, but you still want to know what's going on in your friends' lives. 4. Time to go. Social events can be fun within a certain time frame. If you get tired from a social engagement, you would like to be able to leave as soon as possible. This is harder if you don't have a car of your own or another ride. Five, hear me roar. You get talked over in conversations when you actually do want to speak. Whenever there's a pause and you say what you have to say, no one responds to it the way you'd hoped. And then they start talking about something else. It's a vicious cycle. 6. Event Misery You tend to be more sympathetic towards people who aren't having that great of a time at a gathering, even if you are, so you understand that for whatever reason, the person would rather be somewhere, somewhere else. Therefore, you respect their space, but you know how it feels. 7. Did I raise my hand? Didn't think so. You hate it when people call on you to participate in things when you don't want to. Most of the time, you enjoy sitting back and letting other people contribute. When you feel comfortable enough to participate, you will, and there are actually times when you do volunteer. It's just not that often. Eight. Can I say something funny? No? Okay. When you want to say something funny, but you don't know how everyone else will take it, so you spend too much time internally debating whether or not you should say it to the point where the conversation had already moved on. Nine, I mean no harm. You want to speak your mind, but you don't want the conversation to turn confrontational. It's uncomfortable. Which brings us to 10, not about the drama. Never call out an introvert in an argument. Introverts would find it much more respectful if a person pulled them aside and talked to them privately, instead of in a crowded room, or in front of an equivalent. Are you an introverted extrovert? Let us know in the comments below, or was it extroverted introvert? Either way, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and please subscribe. Share with your friends. And as always, thanks for watching.